I got a lot of people that still go into like my old videos, asking questions about how to update. So here's a 2023 version of how to do it. Hey, what's going on YouTube fam? Back with another tutorial. So for this tutorial, it's just gonna be something simple. How to update FL Studio. So we're not gonna waste too much time. We're gonna jump right into it. Oh yeah, if you haven't hit that notification bell, that subscribe button, please do so, so you can get notified whenever I drop new content. Lego. Okay, cool. So right now, as you can see, we got the Image Line website where you can download the demo. And for those that already got an account, you can download the demo and then just unlock it with your credentials once you open up FL Studio. So from this page, you're gonna hit this download button. It's gonna download as you can see down here at the bottom. Once it downloads, minimize this. And it's right here. So we're gonna double click on it. You got your installer package. I'm gonna double click on that. Okay, it's gonna say, you know, this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Allow. Continue. Are you using the up to date version of Mac OS? Let's go check. Okay, so let's say we good. Now here's the license information. Same as always. You can double check and read it if you want to. We're gonna hit continue. To continue installing the software, you must agree. Agree. This will take, man, this shit 2.66 gigs. I ain't even realized that. But it's gonna install it onto my, my main hard drive. So as you can see, I do have other hard drives, but for like software DAWs, I like to keep those on my main hard drive. So we're gonna hit install. Boom. Put in information, install software, validating packages. Uh, I right. speeding through them up day. Okay, move items into place. All right, cool. So now we can close it. The installation is done. So all we do from here, what I like to do, well, first off, let's eject this. We don't need this anymore. That's the DMG file. So what I like to do, it's just a habit. I would drag this desktop version. Oh, shit. I would drag this. What are I going on with my left click now? What's going on? All right, cool. Drag that mug, drop that mug in the trash to remove it from the dock. Then we go go grab. I don't know why, I, I still need to delete them. I don't know why I ain't got this mug still on here. FL21, we go drag, drop that mug right down. It's just a habit that I like doing. So, you know, for those of y'all that do know how to do this already, that just do the update and just open, you know, from your desktop and it works, hey, kudos to y'all. It's just a habit for me. All right, cool. See, we got the look small look clock thing going on there we go so from here go to unlock fl so it says you can update license click update to renew your license uh so it says it's already unlocked and registered unlock with file you can do that with the uh with the file you can download from the website register code online you do all that so we good fl studio is updated and we're good to go all right cool so like i said that was gonna be something pretty simple straightforward not hard to do but i know a lot of people was hitting me up in my older videos asked me about you know questions they was having or troubles they was having with updating fl studio and I know the last video I did on this was probably when they did the uh, the beta version for Mac. You know, so now we're here with, in 2023. They got a Mac version already here. 
and the M1 version. So you shouldn't have too many issues. Just follow this guide or this video and you'll be good. If you have any other comments or questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Oh yeah, if you haven't hit that subscribe button or that notification bell, you know, go ahead and do that for me so you can get notified whenever I drop new content. Appreciate y'all's support. Peace out.